I couldn't have imagined that. But they did it. I mean, it happened. So there are two options be, be, before us. Either we try to focus uh, in the past and try to shift the focus even uh, from this striking fact that they have violated international law by killing Turkish people, or uh, and, and uh, try to blame each other, or look ahead and try to uh, see the future, how we can mend this relationship, how we can put uh, things together again. And this can be done. I, I'm, uh, uh, I'm very hopeful in that regard. Why? Uh, I think we don't want, uh, want much. We want an apology. Uh, it should be very simple and clear. There is a fact. I mean, no one can challenge. And I believe now the emotions in both countries are very high. I can understand that. And uh, relevant to your, your, your question, I think we need a cool-headed third party, which could help us in the shape of the United States. And I believe we've made several demands and several uh, uh, you know, requests from our counterparts. I myself visited several of them, and they understand the situation. They are. Uh, their understanding of the fact that if this relationship fades away in that region, we've got a, a, a big, big problem, ladies and gentlemen. And we could even miss the days we are you know, enjoying today. There is a great risk of having you know, larger explosions in that region. This relationship and even in a, in a tri trilateral context, is of extreme importance all of, all of us, to all of us, to Israel, to Turkey, and to the United States. A zero-sum game will suck all of us into, into, a, into a, a place where I think it would be very difficult uh, and complicated uh, implications. Uh, on, on, on every uh, 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 side of this, this whole triangle. So uh, I don't think that we should, uh, uh, I think we should uh, depress ourselves. We should work. Uh, at least we are doing as such, uh, I think, in engaging with our counterparts here to advise them to, to try to, to explain to our Israeli friends that what they have done is wrong, that they should do something immediately. We cannot take the first step. And I mean, it's, it is ridiculous even to expect Turkey coming out and saying, sorry, what we have done is, is wrong. I mean, this is, uh, we are expecting as such. Now, with all due respect, again, the, the Jewish diaspora here, they're extremely sophisticated and very, very credible people. All of them, but they are very emotional. Very emotional. They have chosen the, the, the simplest way. Just try to shift the focus on Turkey, shift the blame on Turkey. This is wrong. It shouldn't be like that. I mean, we have certain facts. If they have certain claims, just let them put onto the table an inquiry commission of international, uh, uh, I think, standing should go and look into that. And we will respect everything what they come out with. Hello, Robert Shredder with International Investor. Just to follow up on that, uh, an American was also killed during that attack. Yes. Now, I note there's no one here from State Department on the panel that I could put this question to, so I hope you can answer it. Were you surprised 
that there was no strong public reaction from our State Department objecting to this, calling for an investigation, apologizing to the family. And I read today that only 17% of Turks, according to a Pew Global Attitudes survey, are now, now think favorably of the U.S. Are you concerned that your own citizens are starting to see the U.S. as not a friend? Uh, I think, and I'm sure you're not expecting me uh, to answer on behalf of the State Department or any uh, other U.S. institution or, or, or the White House. I think, um, and, and it's not appropriate for me uh, actually to address uh, 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 on, on those issues, but I'm, I'm perfectly sure that in this country, uh, which is the school of big thinking, these are all, all seen, very well understood, and very well digested. But, you know, again, with all due respect, local politics is there in every country. So uh, I think probably that holds their hands tied. That, that, that much, uh, much I can say. And for the last part of your question, uh, Obama administration has given a great, great boost uh, in Turkey uh, to the image of the United States. And it still continues to be as such. This administration is really helping a lot to all of us who are trying to also help in Turkey uh, to our American friends uh, for their image to go up. Uh, and in that sense, I think also I believe the administration will, will analyze the whole chain of events through that, that, that prism. So uh, if uh, th these are the questions, uh, uh, I would uh, like to uh, thank all of you for being patient to listen to me. Because you see, I, I was uh, a spokesperson in the foreign ministry. So I was paid to speak. <laughs> if you don't stop me, I can continue for hours and days. Thank you.